got the new starter in. We've got a new ground cable. And somewhere around here I have a new cable to go from the starter to the starter switch. Solenoid, whatever you want to call it. So, I'm also going to clean all the electrical connections. Try to start this thing another time. First things first, I gotta get this gear, put it on this motor, slap this bad boy in, close the case up, let's get to work. So here you see me removing or trying to remove the snap ring with two screwdrivers. That didn't work. Covers back on, clutch is reconnected. I'm not gonna worry about the shifter yet because it's still in neutral. So we can we can start it without doing that. Now we need to reconnect the starter terminal to the switch. Super hacky. Just gonna be a test to see if we're gonna get this thing spinning over any stronger than we did previously. Let's get the battery in, <clears throat> throw some oil in it, crank her over. Okay, well, we got some gasoline in the floats, spark plugs hooked back up, battery on. Let's, uh, let's see if she'll fire up. Help if I hook up the throttle cable. All right. Try some choke. Still sounds clunky. Hmm. Well, we'll come back to this. A couple people online in this Virago Facebook group I'm in say I need to do a, a synchronization or a bench something test. I forget the name of it, but it uh, this test, what I'm going to do right now, is going to allow me to set the float bowl properly on both the carburetors. Um, essentially, you need a manometer to do that. You put a 
hose out of the bottom of the drain, crack the drain plug, and then have the hose coming up on the side of the carburetor. And essentially that fluid level is going to even out across that whole thing. And it should be hanging out right around here. And to do that, I have some of this clear hose and a little bit of this bigger fuel hose that I'm using as an adapter to get on the bottom. And I'm just going to zip tie it up here. And then to prevent this guy from kinking down the bottom, I'll just squeeze it in a little bit, make sure it doesn't kink down me. And just got to do that again for the other side, and then we can run the test. Okay, I figured it out. I don't think I was giving this guy enough fuel. Which means when I was trying to start it, I don't think I was giving it enough fuel. I was just kind of filling up this little half can thing with a little bit of gas, pouring it down into the bowls. And we're back with the jankiest setup ever. All right, carbs back in, fuel is in, everything's connected. Let's uh, try to start her up. something. I just fell off this thing. Holy crap. Look at that. Magic. Got smoke coming out the exhaust pipe. But it runs. <laughs> I'm very happy. I'm very happy. The bike runs, which is great. For a second there, I thought I had a blow motor or something. It blows a lot of smoke up the tailpipe. I'm not sure if that's oil blown past the rings or the leaky valve or something. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. However, in order to test drive it, I need to get these brakes working. Let's go do that. <laughs> So there was zero brake fluid in there. I mean, not zero, but not really enough. 
These are in pretty good shape. Um, this isn't really moving. I'm going to try to squeeze it in a little bit, but I'm pretty sure it might be rusted in there. So we'll have to see about that. I'm going to take off the other side and then I'm going to take the front wheel completely off the forks because this tire is deformed pretty bad and I can't get this thing blown up because the beads all weird and I figure that's going to be easier to do off the bike than it is going to be on the bike so I want to get this thing rolling and right now it doesn't roll because there's a you can see if I spin this around there's a massive flat spot right there so that side of the beads all messed up so I figure if I get the tire off get the brakes all cleaned up I'll try to put some brake fluid in this and see if the system holds and uh, if so I'll just throw the other pads on there right now just to get it rolling and braking and then uh, once I know you know the the system kind of works I'll go back and clean it up nice put new pads on and all that good stuff uh, the brake seems to work fine in the back because there's no leaks on that So, I'm not going to show you the other part, it's going to be the same, but I'll uh, try to get this tire off and I'll see you then. Yeah, I lied. I was sick of working on a dirty bike, so I decided to give it a wash. I didn't spray the electronics directly and I tried not to get any inside the air intake or near any important other systems. But I was surprised how clean it got with just a quick hose down. But that's all for this episode. Thanks for watching.